Summer is such a beautiful time of year. It's proved to be the backdrop of so many movies, novels, or even TV shows. I'm pretty sure no season has been as romanticized as summer has. Besides giving me that break from college, for me, summer was a time of inspiration. Fashion inspiration. It was a time when I devoured fashion magazines, googled summer looks, and binge watched movies only for the clothes. I spent days on an end sifting through my own wardrobe, mixing and matching my old clothes and accessories to imbibe and recreate the looks I saw on TV into my own personal lookbook. And I enjoyed every minute of it. But as I grew older, I noticed that the spark was gradually fading. And over the past couple of years, it died out completely. No matter what time of year it is, what occasion it is, I found myself reaching for the same clothes over and over again, like I had lost the motivation to dress up. And so, to re-inspire myself this year, I thought I would put together a summer lookbook with my existing clothes. Beautiful clothes that I've accumulated over the years but not been able to wear due to lack of imagination and inspiration. It's like I want to try to maybe reignite that spark and feel the magic that comes with summer, even if it's in a small way, through my clothes. Albino Hibiscus An unconventional name I know, but when I first moved to the mountains, I stumbled upon these albino hibiscuses that primarily grew wild. There was something about their delicate resilience that drew me in. When I saw this frilly linen top in Zara in the sale of 2020, it reminded me of those flowers and I knew I had to have it. I paired it with these white linen pants I bought a year later. I don't know if you can see but I've accessorized this look with my black espadrilles, which I wish I had in beige, but I don't. And this raffia clutch to make this look feel more elegant and complete. The Feminine Soft Serve if there's one thing I dream about the most in the summer months, it's the McDonald's soft serve. Given the closest McDonald's is at a distance of 75 kilometers from where I live, if I can't eat a soft serve, the best I can do is dress like one. The linen trousers are the same from the previous look paired with this beautiful lacy top that oozes comfort and femininity. I've accessorized this outfit with my jute bag I got in my early 20s and this raffia hat I got a couple of years ago when I realized how much I love being in the sun but hate letting my face get damp. The In-Betweener If it makes any sense, I've named this look not because I'm looking for a middle ground between black and white, but simply because it's neither fully summer nor fully winter somewhere in between. Yes, it's the same creamy white linen pants paired with a knitted black vest. And because I love mixing textures, I accessorize with my black belt. This oversized black and beige jute bag I've had since as long as I can remember and my trusted espadrille. A casual day in the sun. If this name conveys anything, it should reflect how I feel when I wear this whole look. While linen remains a staple for summer, the color and style of the trousers have finally changed. The white color is replaced by a beige tone, paired with this black crop top I bought in sale in the beginning of COVID and accessorized it with my regular spatrels and giant jute bag. Bohemian bitch. I won't lie, I spent most of my early 20s fangirling over the catalogs and Instagram posts of free people. While affording their clothes was a challenge, years later when I found this bohemian style crossed smock puff sleeve top, it appealed to that boho loving girl inside of me. The only reason I haven't worn it as often as I should have is because of how much it rides up every few minutes, if you can't already tell. But I guess there's no better time than now to get over it and just wear it out. As expected, I paired it with my gigantic jute bag and black espadrilles. The 
the monochromatic flower girl. I actually did wear this outfit a couple of years back while, can you guess, collecting flowers. Ever since I've entered my mid-twenties, my affinity for short skirts have been replaced by long satiny ones. Maybe it's a sign of evolution or maybe it's just unconscious effort on my part to hide my slimly legs. Either way, I love how I feel in it. Summery, flowy, feminine. The spadrills and giant jute bag continue to be staple accessories. If only these country roads could actually permit me to wear these heels in reality. I don't know, maybe someday? The brunch outfit. I'll admit, I'm not really a fan of parties per se. But if there's one type of party I feel I would enjoy, it would be a brunch. There's something so perfect about the concept. The casualness, the lightness of the food served, and the fact that you're still fresh as it's usually held during mid-mornings. Sadly, where I live, not many or any brunches for that matter have been held, to be honest. But I'm hoping if I dress the part enough, someday maybe it'll happen. Even if it is me ultimately hosting the desired brunch. The Feminine Hiker Is the name too cliche? I think it is, but what can I do? If you can't already tell, it's the same dress from the previous look, only this time it is white covered with tiny flowers. But that's not the only change. Finally, the spadrels have gone and have been replaced with my trusted hiking shoes. I chose not to accessorize it much because the last time I wore this dress was actually when I went for a short hike along the mountain path. And the lighter you travel, the further you can go. Am I right? Mulberry Wine I'm not exactly sure why I gave this look this name, but perhaps because the last time I wore this satin camisole top last summer, I was picking mulberries. As for the trousers, though we are back to linen, its purplish grey shoe reminds me of wineries on cool summer nights. I paired it with my simple jute bag from Look 2 and continued with my more hiking boots. I just love that when I'm in doubt, I can pull out these boots because without much effort, we just go with everything. Gypsy Spirit They always say don't wear loose trousers with a loose shirt. Now there's something so freeing about having things loose, liberating like a gypsy soul. And the looseness does so well for the heat too. So to summarize, it's the same greyish purple linen trousers from the previous look, paired with this shirt I got from Bochka in 2018 from Barcelona, and accessorized it with my hiking boots, raffia hat, and jute bag. So anyway, those were the, I don't even know how many looks I made, I probably know that when I'm editing. So those were the summer looks I made from my existing clothes and such a mess. I'm gonna have to clean up that mess now. My whole bed is like messed up. I like rest, but those were the looks I created. I hope it inspires you in any way. Hardly anything of those things are new and by new I mean like last year, bought by me last year at the most. Nothing that's like new new, most of my stuff is like super old. It's just that I've not done it justice so I thought it would make, it would make sense to create this lookbook with my existing clothes so that I get inspired to dress up next time I have to go out and also I don't have to like what am I gonna wear? What am I gonna wear? So I hope you enjoyed and if you did let me know I can create more lookbooks from like my existing clothes because that's what I really enjoy doing. See you soon.